because the Gujarat government this evening has filed an affidavit in the contentious Bilkis Bano gang rape and murder case. The Gujarat government now has told the Supreme Court that the Ministry of Home Affairs at the centre cleared the release of Bilkis's convicts. The Gujarat government in its affidavit before the Supreme Court says that uh, it does not believe that these PILs which have been filed should be entertained because they are by third parties who have nothing to do with the case. Joining me now is our uh, legal head Nalini Sharpa joins me. Nalini, you want to tell me exactly what the Gujarat government has claimed because until now it was unclear how, was these, how were these convicts released. Obviously the Gujarat government is saying they got the centers and the MHs go ahead. Well, Rajshree, what we need to remember is that because this was a case that was investigated by the CBI, a decision on the release or the remission granted to the 11 convicts could not have been taken by the Gujarat government without having taken approval from the centre first. That is what the 1992 policy also states. But at this or during this entire time, the Gujarat government has not made it clear as to whether or not Centre had a role to play in this decision. But through, through this affidavit, two things have become web, very clear. One, the Gujarat government has clearly stated that the final approval and the concurrence decision was given by the Ministry of Home Affairs through a letter that was uh, written on the 11th of July and that was sent to the Gujarat government. Second thing so I have to said, go to, I have to stop you because